Okay, so another battle for Azeroth build has gone up. And there's been some changes to the Rip Paladin again. Not a whole massive number. There's a significant number of them. Most of them are sort of tweaks. Uh, tend to be on the old talent. So we're going to have a look at them now. So, first one, Zeal. So what Zeal had done in the last build is just increase your attack power. It still sort of does that. But now it deals some extra holy damage. So it's gone from like 100% extra attack power to 50%. Uh, deal your three auto attacks deal 50% faster. But with some holy damage on it as well. Which is, I believe, affected by mastery. But we can easily test that. So at the moment it's saying it deals an extra 291 holy damage. Do bear in mind the damage squish. That would sound pathetic in Legion. And I'm not saying it's amazing in this, but uh, a lot more than it is there. 271. So it's affected by mastery, all good. That's a nice straightforward talent to use, nice and easy. If you're just going to go around leveling, ideal to use. Righteous Verdict, which is the one that has the Whisper of the Nathazim effect, has gone up to a six second window, making it a little bit easier to use. They had nerfed it a bit. It had gone from six seconds down to five seconds. Now it's gone back up to six seconds again. Other changes that have come in, we've got a completely new talent, Divine Judgment. So what happens with this one now? What we've been asking for, of course, or what some of us have been asking for, let us not put words into people's mouths, is a sort of final verdict from Warlords of Draenor, where if you use uh, Templar's Verdicts, then your next Divine Storm does double damage, you know, to weave it in, in AoE situations. Um, they're not totally convinced by that one. So what they've given us instead is Divine Judgment. So what this means in an AoE situation, remember this is very much the AoE row. If I use Divine Storm, I get a buff here, which means that my next Judgment will deal 20% extra damage. So you're going to be casted Judgment even in an AoE situation, unless there's loads of mobs. Uh, then it could be argued what's really the point. But that Judgment will now deal much more damage. Consecration, I've, I'm in combat so I can't switch to it, but Consecration has been changed a little bit. So now it's got a 20 second cooldown and it does its damage over 6 seconds. Where are you, you naughty little talent? We'll put you on shift 6. Um, so because it does its damage, of course does more damage and the ticks are affected by haste there. And it does its damage over a shorter period of time for that duration. That actually helps us in a mobile situation like on uh, on mobs in dungeons, for example. Obviously, we know if Consecration had a duration equal to its cooldown, in other words, whenever it faded, we just used it again, we know a lot of the time it's going to be left behind as tanks gather up mobs, move them around into a ball, or just move on to the next pack. Here, you can sort of think to yourself, I reckon he's going to stand still for the next six seconds. Bang, Consecration. Um, do the reasonable amount of damage there. So we can actually now use this in much more realistic situations, potentially. Whether it'll get a lot of use on raid fights, I'm still not so sure about. But that's okay, because we've got, you know, our old favourite Wake of Ashes. Nothing really has changed with that either. The last very noticeable thing here is Justicar's Vengeance. Now... Got to understand with Justicar's Vengeance, they absolutely do not want this being used for damage. They don't want it being used for damage. It's a heal. It's a heal that costs you DPS because it uses holy power. So what they've done, I mean the way this was when I first got into the alpha, it did more damage than Templar's Verdict. It wasn't worth using in your normal rotation because of the five holy power meant that it's holy power efficiency. In other words, the damage you did per holy power wasn't as good as Templar's Verdict. So you wouldn't just use it in your normal rotation. Although apparently a lot of people were. But it was definitely worth using on a stunned mob because then it does 50% more damage. Not as much as in Legion, but 50% still more damage was useful. Or you could use it on Divine Purpose procs. Then in the last build, they made it equal damage to Templar's Verdict. So you'd still potentially use it on a stunned mob a little bit gain there on a divine purpose proc you might as well because it did the same and you'd get in a little heal as well but now it's actually doing less damage it's only slightly less damage but it is still less damage i think the point of that is so that it can still do a reasonable heal if we need it but at the same time it's trying to stop people from looking at it and going 
oh, that's as good or better than Templar's Verdict and using it incorrectly. So it's a way of sort of saving people from that. The situation will still be that um, on a Divine Purpose prop, I don't know that it's it's going to be as worthwhile because... This is dodging the hell out of me. I don't know why I'm picking this training dummy. Absolute rubbish. Um, because it's going to do less damage. So on a Divine Purpose prop, um, not really worth it unless the mob is stunned. On a stunned mob, using your holy power, will it be worthwhile? Because on a stunned mob, it's doing 50% extra damage. Now, if we try and work this out very quickly, empirically, if you think about it this way, Templar's Verdict costs three holy power. So, if I have something that's going to do 50% more damage, it'll be on equal terms if it costs 50% more holy power. So, 50% more than three is 4.5. So anything that costs 4.5 holy power or less is potentially worth using over Templar's Verdict. But of course, Just a Card's Vengeance uses 5 holy power. So there's not much in it, but Just a Card's Vengeance very slightly less effective as a result. So I'm not promising that those are all of the changes. There's a few other little fiddly bits and pieces I think that have changed as well but in terms of the main things those are them I'll be online of course with my usual Friday and Saturday streams testing all sorts of things if you've got any questions put them down below in the video or join me on the stream check out my schedule on my Twitch channel and I'll see you then thanks very much for watching hope you enjoyed it if you did don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't done before and if you haven't subscribed you probably don't know about my other Red Parting videos check those out as well until next time, I'll see you later.